السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا وحبيبنا خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين Here we are being approached by another blessed season Another set of days of أيام الله Another set of days of God that carry within them so much sacredness and holy gems and virtues for us to uncover. One of those is the gem and the virtue of patience which is taught to us by the story of sacrifice by the father of sacrifice, Abu Al-Anbiya Abuna Ibrahim alayhi salam. And that is patience to the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, accepting what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has determined. But let us take a critical distance back and think to ourselves, do we, do we really know what patience is? Are we truly patient? when we are hit with a problem and a tragedy. The Prophet ﷺ gave us one of the most beautiful love examples. When he was walking by the the, Baqi the cemetery of Baqi' one day and he saw a woman crying and weeping by the loss of her loved one and crying out in sadness. But he ﷺ said to her, trying to comfort her, he said to her, Ya Amatullah, ittaqillaha wasbiri, O servant of Allah, have taqwa and have patience. You know, anticipate the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, you should know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward those who are patient. And the woman, she didn't recognize who the man talking to her was. She didn't recognize the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And she said to him, just go away. You have not been tested with what I've been tested with. You did not suffer what I suffered. You, The tragedies that hit me did not hit you. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, being the great man that he is, he didn't say, do you not know who I am? Do you not know that I'm the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? I suffered this, I suffered this and I suffered that. He just simply walked off. And the sahabas came after the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and said to her, did you not know that this was the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking to you? And she ran after the Prophet and said to him, I'll be patient and await the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She said, attaqillaha wa asbir. She said, I will have taqwa and I will have patience. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said to her with words that should be an education for all of us. He said, إِنَّمَا الصَّبْرُ عِنْدَ الصَّدْمَةِ الْأُولَى Indeed, patience is with the first strike, with the first hit of, you know, in the first instant that the tragedy hits you. Patience is the first action. Patience is in the first action that you take when the mountain boulder weighing tragedy falls upon your head. In that moment, do you start cursing, screaming, or do you say, Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. Alhamdulillah. Kullu shay'in biqada'in wa qadar. Everything is written and determined by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. Alhamdulillah. What is your reaction when the first, when the tragedy first hits? You know, the Prophet wasallam said, إِنَّمَا الصَّبْرُ عِنْدَ الصَّدْمَةِ الْأُولَى Because in the first instant is when you need to control yourself. You know, after anything, any reaction you have after that can be thought of. You know, it's, it's a matter of processing everything in your brain. But if the first reaction that you have is, Alhamdulillah, إِنَّا لِلَّهُ وَإِنَّا إِلْهِ رَاجِعُونَ then you are a truly patient person and you will be truly among those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put into the ranking of those who he, whom he loved. So from the story of Abu Abuna Ibrahim alayhi salam, we see that he accepted the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and offered his son as a sacrifice and he was patient. And the son was offered as a sacrifice and he accepted the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and said to his dad, if that, if that is the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I accept the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I accept what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you. And he told his dad, make sure the knife is sharpened so I don't suffer so much. Look at that level of patience. And look at that level of acceptance to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the mother of that child who was so patient. You know, we when, when the, 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 there is an example that we always use, a lot of us use and say, behind every successful man is a woman. Who is that woman? It's the mother of that man. She is behind that man's success. So when we look at the son of Abu Ibrahim alayhi salam that was to be sacrificed, we look at his mother. We look at his mother when the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam left her and her son in an empty desert where there is no people, they have no water, no food. What did she say? She said to Abu Ibrahim alayhi salam, 
if this is the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then I accept it. And then look at one of the Sahabas, Bilal radiallahu anhu. He was whipped so much until the flesh came off his bones and in his back and his the, the bones on his back started showing. But he kept on saying, Ahadun Ahad, Allah is one, Allah is one. Now that is sacrifice and that is patience for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is a message we are to take from these 10 days. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who follow the best of examples and grant us the strength of the hearts and the strength of Iman to remain patient and perseverant in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in the path of righteousness in the path of right in the path of righteousness and in the path of those who are righteous, in the path of those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed, and in the path of those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is happy with, not with those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed his wrath and anger and not those who are astray. Ameen, Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen.